Liquid organic fertilizer from potato peels can be made by fermentation to utilize their rich nutritional content, or by simply soaking the peels for faster results. This second method produces an environmentally friendly fertilizer and improves soil quality, but the fermentation method produces a more nutrient-rich fertilizer after a longer process. Balakasita leaves and potato peels can be used for plants as organic fertilizer or compost, as both are rich in nutrients like potassium and phosphorus from the potato peels, as well as other minerals and bioactive compounds from the balakasita leaves. To process them, chop both ingredients, mix them with other organic materials like straw or banana stems, and then ferment them to create a fertilizer that can improve soil structure and fertilize plants. How to use as organic fertilizer 1. Preparation Roughly chop the balakasita leaves and potato peels into small pieces. 2. Mixing. Combine the chopped balakasita leaves, potato peels, and other organic materials such as dry leaves, straw, or banana stems, then stir until evenly distributed. You can also add dried animal manure to enrich the nutrients. 3. Fermentation. Place the mixture in a large sack, tie it, and store it in a place out of direct sunlight and away from rain for several weeks to ferment. 4. Utilization. Once the fermentation process is complete, this organic fertilizer is ready to use to improve soil fertility and supply essential nutrients to plants, such as potassium, phosphorus, and other minerals. The benefits of potato peels for plants are numerous due to their rich nutritional content. They include being a source of natural organic fertilizer containing potassium, phosphorus, and nitrogen to support the growth of roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and fruit. Furthermore, potato peels can improve soil structure and fertility, increase the soil's ability to retain air and nutrients, and help reduce kitchen waste and create a more sustainable garden. Key Benefits of Potato Peels for Plants Source of Plant Nutrients Potato peels are rich in nutrients such as potassium, phosphorus, and calcium, which are essential for plant development. Potassium Essential for fruit and seed formation and strengthens plant resistance to disease. Phosphorus Supports root growth, seed development, and photosynthesis. Calcium. Necessary for strengthening plant cell walls. Soil Quality Enhancer. The high organic matter content in potato peels can improve soil structure, making it looser and better able to retain air, which is very beneficial for root growth. Kitchen Waste Reduction. Using potato peels for compost or fertilizer is an effective way to utilize organic waste from the kitchen and reduce the amount of waste. How to use potato peels for plants. 1. As a compost ingredient, mix potato peels with other kitchen scraps and add them to the compost pile. The nitrogen-rich potato peels can speed up the decomposition process, producing a nutrient-rich organic fertilizer. 2. As a liquid fertilizer, boil potato peels and use the water as a natural liquid organic fertilizer. 3. As a fertilizer powder, roast potato peels until dry, then grind them into a fine powder. This powder is rich in potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium and can be sprinkled directly on the soil or dissolved in water. Benefits of Balakasita Leaves for Plants Organic Fertilizer Balakasita leaves can be processed into nutrient-rich organic fertilizer, improving soil fertility and quality. Improves Soil Health Organic fertilizer from Balakasita leaves supports the growth of beneficial soil microorganisms. Antimicrobial and antioxidant properties the flavonoids, saponins, and tannins in balakasita leaves provide antioxidant and antibacterial properties that can protect plants. Balakasita or carinia leaves can be used as a natural botanical pesticide to repel pests such as insects and aphids. Active compounds such as flavonoids and tannins contained in balakasita leaves have antioxidant, antibacterial, and antiparasitic properties, making them effective in controlling pests. To prepare the leaves, make an extract or decoction of balakasita leaves and then spray it on plants infested with pests. How to use balakasita leaves as a natural pesticide? Boil balakasita leaves. Take several balakasita leaves, wash them thoroughly, and boil them in water. Strain the boiled water. Strain the boiled water until a thick, green liquid is obtained. Spraying. Spray the boiled balakasita leaf liquid on plants infested with pests. Other benefits of balakasita leaves in agriculture. Organic fertilizer. In addition to repelling pests, balakasita leaves can also be processed into organic fertilizer by fermenting them with other ingredients such as goat manure and banana stems to improve soil fertility. Natural disinfectant. Balakasita leaves can also be used to make a natural disinfectant, especially for livestock pens, to maintain animal health. Potato peels can be used to control plant pests, such as slugs and fungus gnats, by using them as natural bait in traps. 
Slugs are attracted to the scent of decaying potato peels and congregate there, while adult fungus gnats lay their eggs on potato peels lying on the surface of the soil. Be sure to replace the potato peels regularly to prevent the eggs from hatching, thus helping to naturally reduce the pest population. How to use potato peels for pests? 1. For slugs, place a few pieces of potato peels around your garden. Slugs will be attracted to the scent of decaying potato peels and congregate there. In the morning, you can remove the potato peels along with the slugs that have gathered. 2. For fungus gnats, place pieces of potato peels on the surface of the soil near plants infested with fungus gnats. Adult gnats will find the potato peels a good place to lay their eggs. Replace the potato peels regularly to remove the eggs before they can be removed and the fungus gnat population reduced. Additional tips, be sure to replace potato peels regularly to prevent fungus growth and disease. With this method, you can control pests in your garden naturally, without using chemicals. Apply liquid organic fertilizer in the morning between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. or afternoon after 4 p.m. for best absorption and to avoid evaporation or leaf damage from the hot sun. These times are chosen because the air temperature is cooler and humidity is high, allowing for optimal nutrient absorption. The right time, morning, after the dew has cleared, around 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. Afternoon, before sunset, around 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Why this time is important? Increases nutrient absorption. The cool temperature and high humidity in the morning and afternoon make it easier for plant leaves to absorb nutrients from liquid fertilizer. Evaporation reason. Avoiding direct exposure to strong sunlight can reduce evaporation of liquid fertilizer, preventing rapid nutrient loss. Signs of plant damage. Leaves that are overheated by the hot sun and exposed to liquid fertilizer can cause injury or burns. Additional tips. Application method. Liquid organic fertilizer can be sprayed directly onto the leaves and stems, or poured onto the base of the roots. Application frequency. Generally, liquid organic fertilizer can be applied once a week, but during the rainy season, it can be applied more frequently, for example, once every three days. Avoid sunshine. Do not apply fertilizer during the hottest part of the day, to prevent evaporation and damage to the plant. After two weeks of applying homemade liquid organic fertilizer, the plants will show signs of rapid growth due to the nutrients being easily absorbed by the roots and leaves. To test for successful fermentation, the fertilizer should smell like fermented cassava and not foul, with a brownish color and a white coating indicating microbial activity. If it's not yet ripe, you can continue fermentation until the optimal harvest time, which is usually between 14 and 21 days, or according to the instructions for the type of fertilizer used. Signs that liquid organic fertilizer is ready to use. Odor. Smells like fermented cassava or fermented cassava, not foul. Color. Brownish. Layer. A white layer on the surface indicates active microorganisms. Ripening. The fermentation process usually lasts 14 to 21 days, depending on the ingredients and type of microorganisms used.